So the job today is to remove the grass, same level with the gravel, all the way along, dig down deep enough and then put some stone down. Hopefully the stone will arrive while we're still doing this. the Kilted Gardener. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Let's get some work done. Uh, they're both astigmatics. And one's got a pick and one's got a, uh, this is for roots. What might have you, so if you're doing anything with roots, that'll cut through the roots. This is mainly for breaking up anything, so we'll just hold that a sec and now shall give this a tap and see what we're up against. Fine. And a suspected typical new build. Right, to get started, just got to be careful around the edge. Just dig to about that depth. One of the things us gardeners hate about new builds is the poor quality of the turfing. Not necessarily the turf itself, but the actual turfing. And what I mean by that is they put a very low quality, if they put anything down, uh, topsoil underneath. Uh, the beauty of that here is it's making it easier for me to dig this up. Now I know some people take issue to be using rubble sacks and say why don't you use a dumpy bag or well, where I go to the tip I have to lift that over into a skip and carry it as well it's going to be so much easier in rubble sacks there's some empty ones in the in the van some some older ones I'm going to start reusing them Now, you may all know this, if you know it, then that's fine, but if you don't, we well, you've learned something new. This may or may not speed things up, it all depends on how much uh, I can get done with this. Now, this shovel isn't the best of shovels, because I've used it for all sorts, as you can see it's split, so you want a nice... Uh, this is actually a ballasting, a railway shovel, <coughs> metal handle, the whole lot's metal, that's not brilliant, but it's uh, made for a railway. So, if you want to dig, get your knee behind it, like so, and then push with your knee.
Oh, so we're still waiting for the gravel, so I'm going to start laying this membrane down while I'm waiting. So, with membrane, you usually use pegs. When I'm doing stone, I don't usually do that. What I normally do is use a stone to weight down, but we'll see how we get on. I've said this loads of times. One of the things us gardeners always do is underestimate the waste. Now I was thinking maybe a trailer, maybe a bit more than a trailer. The trailer's full and I've got all this as well. It's about 30, probably about 34 bags in total. Making sure I get the end of this done. Right, so in typical guilty gardener fashion, we went to the uh, tip it was closed I come back and I just wanted to crack on so uh, as you can see we're almost done with the gravel and it's probably took us about an hour to do this uh, there's probably I don't know a quarter of that a bag and we're having to handball it as well because I don't use wheelbarrows I don't do this kind of work very often so handballing it isn't a problem so yeah once it's all tidied up and everything it'll look It'll look nice. So the original plan was to put a curbstone there. Well, the customer said they haven't got one and they might put one in there, but they just thought, you know, put it up to the grass. So I'm just glad I'm not cutting the grass at all. Right. Set you up here and you can watch the rest of it. And then you can scream at the monitor saying, why are you doing it by hand? <laughs> 